believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Countdown is concerned, the prime crew now departing from their crew quarters here at the Kennedy Space Center. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. Counting, we are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Neil Armstrong reported back when he received the good wishes. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Apollo 11, this is Houston. All your systems are looking good going around the corner. We'll see you on the other side. Over. Right. Everything looks okay up here. So we're getting a beautiful picture in down here now, 11. Uh, the color is coming in quite clearly, and uh, we can see the horizon and the, the relative blackness of space. Okay, 11, this is Houston. Uh, we're getting a beautiful picture of uh, Langrenus now with its uh, rather conspicuous central peak. See your fertility. Doesn't look very fertile to me. I don't know who named it. Eagle looking great. Your go. 40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no, step off the limb now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Here, men from the planet Earth. First step foot upon the moon. July 1969. It came in peace for all mankind. Uh, the President of the United States is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. 